Hello, my name is Aaron Wall, and this is a free SEO video on how to use the SEO for Firefox extension. Um, how you find SEO for Firefox is you can search the major search engines for like SEO, Firefox, or you go to SEO book and to the tool section, and the first thing that's highlighted is SEO for Firefox. Now, when you go to this page, before you can install SEO for Firefox, you have to have the Firefox browser installed. And once you've downloaded and installed the the Firefox browser, come back and visit this page using Firefox. And then you click here to install SEO for Firefox. And if you have any issues with the installations, these uh, tips here should help you get it installed. And as a final step, you have to restart Firefox. Um, what SEO for Firefox does is it puts a lot of competitive research data directly in the search results. So when you need to SEO, sometimes you're, you're looking at different search results and wondering, hey, why does this rank or why does that rank? What SEO for Firefox seems to do is, is help you know why certain things rank. So SEO for Firefox has a couple different modes and a, and a whole bunch of features. So SEO for Firefox, if once it's installed, you'll see SEO down in the bottom of the browser. Um, if it's colorful, that means it's on. If there's no color, that means it's off. So let's say we search Google for SEO, just as an example. And it's going slow. No, no. All right, slow loading. Okay, so this is what the search results normally look like. But let's turn this service on and hit enter. And now what you see is all this data right here, the stuff in the blue part. This is all pulled in from SEO for Firefox. And for each listing, it tries to tell you, you know, the page rank, the cache date, how old the site is, you know, some linkage data and traffic data, pages indexed in Google, um, whether or not it's listed in, you know, some of the more important directories, and it basically gives you an overview of why the sites rank. Some sites rank because they're, they're old, some sites rank because they have a lot of trusted links, some sites uh, rank because they have few links, but most links they have are of really high quality, and what this does is it gives you like a little lens or a snapshot of the different results. And with any of the data points, you can go, hmm, so this site's from 2001. Let me go back and take a look. So, and then it, it cites whatever the source is. And you can go through and look. And so um, links from like EDU sites and, and government sites tend to be more trusted often than links on the commercial parts of the web because... Um, the, the web was started on, you know, um, as an educational research project, so those are on the cleaner parts of the web. And let's say you wanted to see the Yahoo government links pointing at this site. So you click on that link, and it's going kind of slow here. And here it's going through and showing you the, the .gov links pointing at that site. The nice thing is with, uh, with this, you can just keep looking through and finding the different good things. And like this is showing you the backlinks, and the, here you're getting all the data for all the backlinks. So you can go through and see which of their backlinks are the most important as well. And there's two main modes of, of SEO for Firefox. There's the, the automatic mode where you pull all this data in automatically. And then there's also a manual mode or a on-demand mode where you have to click little question marks. These little question marks um, pull the data in when you click on them, and clicking on them when you pull the data in, um, it'll, it'll take like a second or two to come into the search results, and then you'll have that data point there. One warning is if you have SEO for Firefox on all the time, a lot of the, the search engines might start blocking some of your queries thinking that you're scraping them too much, because this pulls in a lot of data from the different search engines. Also at the top of the search results, it links to a couple popular keyword tools. Uh, the SEO book one, the one from Google AdWords, then the Google AdWords traffic estimator, which kind of tries to show you the, the different values of the keywords, whether it's exact match, phrase, or broad. And uh, Google Trends, you can see if the word's getting used more frequently or less frequently. And there's also CSV to e export the stat as you wish. So the settings here for on-demand or automatic what you do is you right click, you scroll down to SEO for Firefox, and then there's options, and then under that you get this screen to come up, 
and you know you can set stuff as automatic or on demand and and de determine even which ones you want like hidden you can even prevent it from showing up in the search results so if you have any questions let me know um, this is just a basic guideline for how to use this and I'll go through some more advanced features with SEO for Firefox in another video soon